friends, welcome back to Violin Teacher. Today's video is going to be an open box review of the E-Star Violin Outfit, which is available on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go look at it yourself, but I'm going to unbox it and show you everything in the outfit and give you my opinion for probably for beginner violin. So let's unbox everything and see what's in here. Okay, so the box came a little bit already open, as you can see right here. But we're going to take it. Hopefully, everything's okay inside. I just wanted to show you that this seller has put the the entire outfit in a second box so you don't have to worry too much if the outer box gets a little beat up. All right, let's see what's inside. And I just want to remind you when you open the second box, be sure that you look for the shoulder rest that it is included in this package. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. So it's a really basic kind of economy copy of the Kuhn shoulder pad. You see, you see that the sides open and you have to be careful not to break it because it's pretty fragile. It's not, you know, it's made of plastic and foam. It's not like, you know, the, uh, the expensive brand. Okay, so in the process of opening you'll see that the case and everything inside is enclosed in, oh, I guess, uh, protective plastic, which we're going to tear that off now. You can see the case looks really pretty. And it has the E-Star logo on it. Nice oblong case. Let's just look at the elements of the case for a minute. Okay, so as you see, there's a, a beautiful blue and black case. There's a little name tag spot here you could put your name in. Velcro clothes. And this is a rubber and canvas kind of handle, which is really, really going to be strong and sturdy. And then you have, on top, you have a pocket where you can open and put your things in. Oh, inside there's a... Inside you'll see there's these two straps, which I'll show you what they're for in a minute. Let's look at these, the top zippers and what they do. So there's an opening there where you can stick your music, your pencils, whatever you want to carry beside your violin. So that's really nice to have. All right, good. Two pockets, which is kind of unusual. All right, these are for, see the loop right there? You can just stick that on there. Okay, so you have a loop at the top of the case and one on each side. Now I'll show you how to attach those straps so that you could have a backpack kind of effect on the case. All right, so now you're looking at the straps attached and you can see that they're sort of like you could be using these as a backpack, backpack adjustable. These are adjustable and you can carry that over your, on your back like a backpack and keep your hands free. Well, let's open the violin case and see what's inside. All right, we've got a nice blue, beautiful plush interior. And there's a cloth here for over the violin. 
sort of a rubberized kind of material, which is good, keeps it waterproof. And then here's our first look at the violin. It's nice and shiny, isn't it? All right, and then we've got a bow, which is still in its plastic sheath. And inside the pocket, we have rosin. And some steel strings, which really, uh, you know, are good to have an, another set if you need it. An emergency string, although steel strings are not my preference. And what's this? This is, it also comes with the E-Star violin. It is a tuner. You just clip that on, actually, right here. And you can test to see, it'll tell you, in, it's like a little digital um, tuner which will test your strings. So this, the bridge looks like it's holding up and we're going to take this plastic stuff out and have a good look at what it says. You can see in there, it says E-Star. This is an ebony. Ebony, okay, we've got the ebony chin rest. We've got the, the, um, the nice modern tailpiece that has the tuners built in. That's great for a beginner violin. I'm not sure that the, the, this is an ebony um, I'm not sure that it's an ebony fingerboard. You can see that it looks a little bit like it might have been painted. Nice tiger eye side. Look at that. That's pretty. And the back. Really shiny, really pretty. And the scroll and the pegs. The pegs do look like they are ebony. Alright, so I'm going to test and try to tune the instrument to be back in just a minute. I took a picture of the violin on my shoulder and what you see as a player uh, and you'll see that the nut of the violin is a little bit high you can compare it maybe to the violin that you're playing now what this does is it causes the fingers to ha be a little further from the fingerboard the actual finger action is a little bit it's a little bit difficult okay so if, if that nut was a little is if that nut was a little lower, it would be easier to play. And sometimes, then moving up in position, you might find that when, you, when you're pushing the string down to the fingerboard to get the proper alignment, that your finger is deep in between two strings. And the bow is going to have a tendency to hit uh, the other strings. So I just want to caution you that this violin is for beginners who only will play in first, second, and third position. Wouldn't want you to be playing in fourth or fifth or above because of the alignment of the, the uh, height of the nut. You can see how far that brings the strings from the fingerboard. Alright, so I'll play this for you now. I'm using my bow 
because a brand new bow that is provided with this outfit will not have any rosin on it and it will take a long time to get that rosined up. So we'll look at that bow, but first let's listen to the violin. sometimes me hitting some other strings and that's because when I press the string down it lowers the string and causes the bow to be kind of a little bit harder the bow to hit other strings sometimes so it's great for like a beginner you can still have the bridge is still fitted to where you can still keep the strings single but with a little bit more advanced technique you're going to find that th this violin is just for beginners tell this violin has a big ringing sound and that's great for a beginner who wants to have a good sound to start out with. So my only two complaints would be the nut is a little high on this particular instrument. If you get an E star violin, it might, yours might not be as high. And the other thing is that because of that, that causes me to hit other strings sometimes. You know, you, once you get used to your violin, it will be fine. Once you get used to it, might not have any trouble with that. All right, let's just take a quick glance at the bow. So looking at the bow included in this package, you'll see it on first glance, it's pretty attractive, isn't it? It has a nice kind of little eye uh, and, and a golden stripe around it. And on the end here, you have that nice abalone uh, look to it. It's very pretty. This is a wood bow and with horse hair and it looks like it looks to be you know pretty wide and well rehaired well haired uh the hair isn't perfectly white that's not necessary it'll play just as well so all in all the e star violin outfit includes a bow case really pretty case a tuner, uh, the violin of course, a shoulder pad, and all the products that are in the rosin and a set of strings. Now all these products are very, you know, very basic beginning tools for you to start learning how to play violin. helps you in evaluating the e-star violin if, the, if you found this video useful please like the video please subscribe for more and I'll see you soon thanks so much for watching